What's going on, y'all? So lit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, this is Haves and a Half Not, Season 7, Episode 9. Boom, boom, bang, bitch. Okay, listen, I don't know what it is about the end of these episodes. Listen, sometimes these episodes, you know, you you they can't be all the way like, ooh, action field or whatever. They give you just the, amount, the, the, the right amount, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it drags a little bit, but then, bitch, it picks up like the last 15 goddamn minutes of the show, and I be sitting here like, what the fuck? Okay, that's how I was tonight. Catherine, you really tried it, and why it... Bitch, you tried it too, okay? We'll get into that. Y'all, I feel real cute today, okay? Let me tell you something. I was getting compliment on my um, pants or whatever. I wish I could show y'all, but... You know, I really like when I wear my jeans, okay? My jeans a little baggy on me, you know, because I don't really like form-fitting clothes, but I got these joggers that I'm putting on or whatever, so they... Show I got a little shape or some shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then I got like my little box free sun or whatever. I got my ass sitting up and shit. You know, I feel cute today. <laughs> Anyway, let me get up into this groove, girl. Let me stop playing with y'all. Um, so the episode starts off. Okay, first of all, let's just get Jim out the way. Jim and David. David, I don't know what's on David's mind right about now, okay? Because after, um, you know, Veronica couldn't came in and played with his mind and said that, you know, she fucked around with Jim a couple of times, you know, maybe more than that than we really know. Um, he just, you know, even when he said that he fucked around with Catherine too, you know what I'm saying? He feels some type of way. You can feel like the energy changed between him and Jim. Jim still on this, you know what, bitch, we got to get this bitch. I don't think that you should have told, um, George what was going on with Veronica or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have told her, um, to have told him about that. You're not going to get this immunity. Well, um, you know, you want me to go ahead and do this shit. I'm going to take her out. He was like... Don't let me know what's going on, okay? And his demeanor was just so like he is in his feelings and he finna say some shit or he was about to, he plotting on Jim. I said, oh, so you feeling some type of way about Jim? Was I the only one that was getting that? Or was he feeling some way about Veronica and the news that she just dropped on him? Because you can't really tell whether or not Veronica is saying stuff to play on people's emotions when it comes to David. Or is she really uh, meaning what she said? You know what I'm saying? But truth be told, I believe that she fucked around with Jim. I truly do believe that shit. Because they was real close. You know, they all, the whole family was close before they couldn't stand each other. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, you know, Jim want him to talk to Cal. See what's going on with that. The OAG. You know what I'm saying? And um, his demeanor, like I said, is really off. So once David leaves... David, you know, um, calls Veronica and basically was like, listen, bitch, they coming for your ass. I told George about you, you know, and they was like, listen, fuck that. Veronica was like, listen, bitch, I don't give a fuck, David. You know what I'm saying? I got papers on you. You got papers on me. You want to put this on me or whatever. I'm going to put some shit on you. They going to take you down for a murder. I'm going to take myself down for a murder. It is what it is, okay? He was like, listen, bitch, what I'm all concerned about is my goddamn son. She said, bitch, that girl ain't your son. I said, Veronica, goddamn it, motherfucker. <laughs> I said, you know what? On another day, <laughs> if it wasn't for this fucking show, bitch, I would be real offended. I am offended, but the shit made me laugh for some reason because she said it so, you know, she said it so crystal clear, okay? She said it without a second thought. She didn't have to think about that shit. It just came out so smoothly. That girl ain't your son, bitch, okay? First of all, you need to go ahead and get your ass a DNA test so you can go ahead and prove that it ain't your son, okay? And, um... She probably could be, no, and not she. It probably could be Jim's. I said, no, bitch, stop playing, Veronica. Stop playing, okay? Bitch, at this point, you know, um, she was like, could, <laughs> David said, bitch, I should have killed your ass. He was like, listen, bitch, listen, you ain't on shit, all right? You know, you couldn't even do that shit right, okay? Listen, you talking about something, you coming for me, bitch. You ain't finna come for shit, bitch. Okay, they going back and forth on the phone and everything. Veronica was shook a little bit, okay? Because she trying to think. Because then George pop up over there at the crib or whatever. 
and trying to, you know, tell her, oh, yeah, David and said he wanted immunity. He trying to put this stuff on you or whatever about this killing for Jennifer Salas and all this shit. Now, on the one hand, I was like, no, nah, they probably doing this shit just to put this on her because it's bad blood. But then again, they could be telling the goddamn truth. You never fucking know. OK, you know, he came in all nice and everything. And she said, no, cut the bullshit. What you want, George? <laughs> Okay, you know, basically George told him, listen, you on the fucking radar and you about to get your ass taken the fuck down. That's what basically George had to come up in there and nice nasty say. Okay, when she left, when she, well, when George left, Veronica got on the phone because she was sitting there like this. Oh, what, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Oh, how can I get out of this? Because they coming for me. This is like two people that already said that they coming for me. Damn. Hello? Do, 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 do. Hello? Yes, this is Veronica Harrington. Um, I said that I wasn't ready, but now I'm ready. Could you please send the candidates over? And I mean send a whole bunch of them over because I got some time today. Yeah, I know I've been putting it off, but now I got some time. Bitch, send the goddamn candidates over with, okay? Goddamn. You know? And I was like, what candidates is she talking about? Baby. Veronica ain't shit for nothing in this goddamn world. Veronica said, bitch, if I'm going to go down, I'm not going down. Somebody else going to go down in my motherfucking place. A naive bitch. And that's exactly what it is. Now, at first, I thought she was looking for some assistant. She was looking for a housekeeper. Somebody to keep up the house or whatever. A maid. The lady came in that was in charge of the agency. And she had all them goddamn uh, clientele and candidates standing at their potential um, workers up there, whatever. Veronica was sitting up in her chair. She couldn't even question them as soon as they came up. Uh-uh. No. Nah. No. Nope. Veronica. I said, bitch, no. Okay, go. Go. Take your ass out the garage. Out the garage, bitch. Nope, nope, nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Go out the garage. You. No, she look like she still. Get your ass up out of here. Okay? Um, bitch, can you give me some shit that got people of color? Okay? Black people that look like me. You know what I'm saying? That look like me. Not greasy and all that shit. Oh, my God, Veronica. You can't see that. That's discrimination. Okay? She was like, bitch, I'm black. Okay, because the last ones that you sent me was all greasy and shit. I don't want them eating fried chicken and nothing like that. I don't want that type of shit. I want a bitch that look like me. My skin tone look like me. You know, classy and all that shit. Oh my God, that is against the law. She said, bitch, I am the law. Okay, and I'm black and I can say some shit like this. Bitch, you can't. She was like, now if they were white and they said that, she said, listen, bitch, first of all, it's white of color. I said, you know what, Veronica? <laughs> They poured this black lady that was up there. And then she was like, uh-uh. Not you, girl. I said I wanted somebody that looked like me, not my mama. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? Veronica, you ain't shit because there was nothing wrong with that girl. They was waiting on another girl to come. And she was like, she's coming from another job. Just give her a few minutes. She was like, oh, and she late now? Oh, fuck that. She was like, just give her a minute. She's coming from another job. She'll be here any second. So, old girl popped up. Her name was, um... Her name was something, but she called her Linda, okay? She said, no, bitch, your name is going to be Linda. She was like, perfect, you're about my size. And the lady from the agency said, oh, I think she uh, she's a little bit smaller than you. Veronica said, bitch, what the fuck you trying to say? She said, no, girl, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Just pointing out stuff. I said, white girl, Miss Lady, shh, shh, not the right one to play with, okay? Mm -mm. You know, next thing you know, Veronica is taking this girl upstairs. She got her with some old clothes of hers or whatever, saying you can wear this, wear these shoes, wear these outfits, all right? You know, come to work, cook, clean, do what you got to do. And I want you to wear all of this stuff, you know? I said, this bitch is setting this naive, poor little lady up. All this woman wanted to do was make a living for her goddamn family. She probably got kids. You never know what's going on in the household. And Veronica sitting there, setting her up to be a body fucking double to go down for her crime. I said, ain't this about a bitch? I started figuring that shit out. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, Miss Lady, turn around. Miss Lady, Miss Lady, Linda, you in danger, girl. <laughs> You are in danger, girl. Girl, let's move on from um them to back at the bank with Benny. Okay, so they didn't get the money. You know what I'm saying? Benny said, bitch, I got a million dollars in my account. Miss Lady, when you go back there and you tell, um, you know, sign up all the papers or whatever, can you bring back $100,000 in cash? 
me and um goddamn um Candice was like, uh, excuse me. He was like, listen, I need to need to leave out of here with some cash in my pockets, okay? Um, uh, I'm finna go get my tow truck, you know, get my tow yard back or whatever. I'm finna buy a house with mommy, okay? And we're gonna be good. It was like, you know, my man gonna be living with you or whatever. It was like, but it is what it is. Meanwhile, from that, <clears throat> we get over there to the gym. When he get through, you know, talking to David, he gets he calls on the phone or whatever to um uh, his little money people, and because oh boy Khalil uh, Akil or whatever the one that was holding Benny, he come up in the room talking about something. Listen, Benny got okay. The Malones came in. I can't do shit, and I ain't finna do shit because I ain't finna fuck with them. Okay, and so at this point. Ben, um, Jim get on the phone with his dude and was like, yo, so did somebody send a wire transfer for me or whatever? It was like, yeah, bro, you got it, but it ain't what you thought it was going to be, okay? It's only $8. I said, quit lying. It was $8.35 unless they taxed that. If you're going to give it right, give it right. <laughs> you know how niggas be feeling about No, I want all of it. Don't say just that. Don't round up. I ain't say round up. I ain't say round down, bitch. Tell me the exact amount. Okay, shit. I'm, I'm going to tell you the exact amount was $8.35, bitch. Okay? Mm-hmm. That was a processing freak. Um, but at this point, he was pissed the fuck off. Now he trying to call Candace. And right when he was about to call Candace, Candace come in. They going back and forth with their usual banter about what they going to do and what they ain't going to do with how she got the Malones back in her and all this shit. You know, and he was like, yeah, bitch, you did a favor for the Malones. Okay, and I done favors for the Malones. They owe me shit or whatever. It was like, no, but you're not in their good graces right about now because you didn't piss them off. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't getting the money. See, listen, I was going to give you this money, but then you fucked around and you took my brother. So, therefore, all bets is off. Okay? So, you fucked this up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And the Malones don't want to fuck with you either. Okay? And I got them on my side. All right? And if you don't believe it, I got somebody that want to speak to you. Bitch, Mitch came in there. I said, Mitch, you know what? Sir, I never looked at you in this type of way or whatever. You kind of cute. You kind of, you, you medium cute or some way. You know, he ain't, he did something for me in this, in this scene. And I don't really do that. You know what I'm saying? And when I say did something, I mean, he was kind of cute. I was like, oh, were you always like this? You know, I like a take charge type of person. And he was just putting his foot down like, listen, bitch. You want to fuck around with us and you want to talk to my grandma. You know how my grandma feel about me, bitch, okay? But what I'm going to need you to do is, um, you're going to leave my boy alone. It was like, first of all, how the fuck is, um, you know, Candace you being protected by the Malones? The Malones don't even fucking like black people. Let's just say she's special to us. I was waiting for um him to say, technically speaking, Benny's my best friend. But he ain't say that. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, basically what you need to do, you need to let that shit go. This $8 million or whatever the fuck it is, you ain't finna get it. So you need to let it go. I supposed to let that shit go. That's my son's inheritance and all this shit. So the fuck what? He said, bitch, I don't care how you do it, but you gonna let this shit go. Have a nice day. I said, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mitchell, put the shit down, bitch. You you no longer Mitch. You're Mitchell, okay? You turned that out. I said, mm, mm. You know Jim ain't gonna go down that easy, okay? Meanwhile, <clears throat> speaking of that, you know, Hannah. Because Hannah ain't been talked to in a minute. You know, we ain't spoke about Hannah. Um, <laughs> She up in the uh, interrogation room with uh, Miss Lady, okay? Miss Lady Catherine. And, you know, they um taking care of business, all right? Yeah, um, Hannah, you know, Catherine signed the papers to, you know, sign her assets and give power of attorney to Hannah. Hannah signed off on the papers to agree. And then, you know, the lawyer, Marty, he signed off as a notary of the public, okay, of the public. You know what I'm saying? And they having a little conversation about, thank you for doing this for me. And, you know, um... It's so crazy that people ain't, um, the lawyer's not taking back with me or whatever. Hannah said, it ain't no surprise. You know, when you at your highest high, people want to be there. When you at your lowest, don't nobody want to be there for you. You find out who the fuck is real. And you see who the fuck is real because I'm here for you, bitch. Okay? That's all that fucking matter. I said, that's right, Hannah. It wouldn't be me, but that's fucking right. You better show her how loyal y'all are to each other. Let me tell you something. I kind of like this friendship. This friendship, you know what this is giving me? Tease. This is giving me family that praise. 
Go watch that movie. Kathy Bates and Alfred Witter. Their relationship, Hannah and motherfucking Catherine. Okay? I'm pretty sure that's what this based off of. You couldn't tell me no different. You know, because they was in a similar position. Money and no money. Okay? And then kind of find out she had shares on the board and all that stuff. Oh, I don't want to get the movie away because some of y'all probably didn't see it. If y'all haven't seen it, bitch, it be coming on TV all the goddamn time. Okay? But, um, yes. Family that prays. That's what it was giving me. You know what I'm saying? And then... <clears throat> Oh, Taraji was in that movie, too. So, Taraji has been in a few Tyler Perry movies, okay? Girl, Acrimony, how the hell did she... Tyler motherfucking Perry, how did she get on the goddamn boat, bitch? You ain't gonna tell us that? <laughs> it's 2020 and we still don't know, okay? But anyway, so, um... You know, she was like, I need you to go to the house. I need you, you know, thank you for having my back and all this stuff. And woo woo. You know, they were just giving each other pleasantries and, you know, being thankful and thoughtful and all that shit. She said, girl, I need you to go to my house. I need you to make sure you get that blood up off the floor. I said, oh, first of all, do I really work for you right about now? I got all your money. I don't need to do nothing. Okay? Like, <laughs> I'm not finna to get no blood off of shit. Hannah finna call a company and have them come clean that shit out. Okay? And she was just making sure everything is all to the good with her. She was like, make sure my plants is good. Make sure the plants is water. Make sure it's this and all this shit. I was like, mm. When Catherine got up to leave, she took back. She turned back and she looked at Hannah like. And I was waiting for them to do. Me and you must step apart. I was like, oh, that's cute. You know, their bond is cute or whatever. Girl, fuck it. Catherine go back to the goddamn jail. Wyatt is over there. Mind you, Hannah was like, you should talk to Wyatt. No, don't believe that motherfucker. She was like, yeah, he seemed remorseful. No, he only seeing all that shit so that we won't press charges and that ain't going to happen. We going to press charges. Bitch, at one point when um David was talking to Jim, he was like, your son shot your ass. And he was like, I know, right? He was like, maybe he need a new father. <laughs> See, David was fat. David fucked up. He is fed up right about now. After all that shit that went down with Veronica, he is fed up with Jim and Veronica. You can see it bubbling. I said, uh-uh. What's going to happen with that? Girl, moving on from that, um, it feels like this episode, like I'm, I'm speeding through, because usually my reviews be like 20 minutes long. Let me fast forward before I get to the part that I really want to get to. Um, Justin come over there to see Jeffrey. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Justin come over there to see Jeffrey. All right. You know they got the little security outside. <laughs> he was like, hey, man. Dude, what happened to your face? Are you okay? I said, no, they won't have this man talking like that. It was like, listen, I'm good. I'm here to see Jeffrey. What is it about? <laughs> Tell me what's it about. <laughs> He's like, just tell him that I'm out here, okay? He was like, I'll go see. You know, so Jeffrey was like, no, nah, tell him I'm out here. And then he was like, you know what? Tell him that I am. Come on in here. Let him in. I said, Jeffrey, let that motherfucker go. He about to leave the state, bitch. He come up in there talking about something. When well, I'm about to go and, you know, uh, I just can't take this anymore. And Jeffrey was like, okay, and he was like, you in cahoots with this, huh? You, you, you doing this shit with your mama, huh? She was like, no, fuck all that shit. I ain't with that shit or whatever. Oh, you acting like this because you don't even care no more because you with him? He said, bitch, if you don't get the fuck up out of here. I said, Justin, Justin, it's over. It's done with. Take your ass home, okay? Go to wherever you want to go to, okay? But um, leave Jeffrey alone because I'm tired of him, okay? I hope this storyline is dead and gone. That's what you need to do. Just need to zoom and ride off into the sunset and just keep on going there. Le meanwhile, <laughs> over at the uh, um, attorney general, Cal come up into his office. And you see um, Kindly sitting up in the uh, office. I said, Alvin, you know, I like seeing you up in this assertive-ass type of um, role or whatever. Like, you know, even though I can do without this, you being this little boss nigga, like, I really like this. You putting your foot down. You got tired of Claire reading the fuck out of your ass and them at Girl, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. But anyway, so um, basically, he was like, I'm just here to see how my um new office going to be. I thought the shit was going to be big. 
nigga, but bitch, let me just tell you this. I got your number, okay? You fucked over my guy, you know, with Candace Young and all this shit because you got fucking played. Let's let me tell you this. Um, because of that shit, we're about to do an investigation on your whole fucking company, the whole um crew, okay? So I just hope you got all your shit in the row. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Mr. Conley wasn't playing. I was like, oh, okay, put your foot down. Flip it and reverse it. Put a little threat up in there. I like it. You know what I'm saying? And so that was what was going on. Catherine go back to her cell. Wyatt's standing across from, Mom, I can't go on like this. You know, I'm sorry for what I did to you guys. It was like, I feel like I should just kill myself. She said, boy, if you don't shut the fuck up. He said, do you know how easy it is for me to kill myself in here? And he said, look at this. It was a two. It was a, it was a, it was it was a toothbrush with a razor blade on it. First of all, I said, where the fuck you get the razor blade? Where you get the toothbrush from? Which one of these inmates put this shit together, okay? Bitch, I said, what the fuck is going on, White? He was like, I'm about to kill myself. Girl, here go Catherine. Catherine resting on that thing like this boy is full of shit. She said, why it? And listen to my voice. Ain't no urgency. Ain't no fear. Ain't no, oh my God. Wyatt, what are you doing? Don't do it. No. It's Wyatt, boy. If you don't sit your ass down. Okay. If you're going to do it, do it. He said, I'm going to do it, mom. She said, whatever, whatever. Boy, he starts sli slicing a cross like this. Uh, like that uh, on his vein I said bitch first of fucking out if you was really a, if you was really bad about it and you really wanted to do that shit you you slice down okay not a crowd you slice down and that'll get the job done bitch my sister told me that shit I said what is that what it is I never knew that I never knew that huh? I said it makes sense though, but um, he just gonna bleed out a little bit, get a little dizzy, and then pass out, and he gonna be all right. <laughs> he gonna be all right, okay. And the seal, Catherine was like, "Oh my God, Wyatt, what are you doing?" <laughs> I said, "Damn, Catherine, could you put a little emphasis in your voice? Be like." That's your son, regardless of what he did to it. I, I, I mean, she probably would say, fuck it. You know, you tried to kill me and let me fake like I care. Okay, she was like, oh my God, Wyatt, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Why? <laughs> but then in the next episode, when he finally passed the fuck out, that's when she goes, oh my God, Wyatt. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> That shit, it shouldn't have been funny, but the shit had me rolling at the end of this episode. But anyway, that was the half and a half notch. Oh, I made my time. Y'all, I see y'all later. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this episode. Next week is the mid-season finale, and then a week after that is If Loving You Was Wrong, the last season. Okay, so yeah, we finna be on this, alright? I'm about to go watch Cherish today, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.